This question, an 18 gram uh, bead is connected to uh, a light 120 centimeter long string as shown in the figure. And this bead, uh, this bead moves in a horizontal circle. Remember, horizontal circle, not a vertical circle with a constant speed. So what is the tension in the string if the angle is 15 degrees? So how is the bead moving? Like this. So definitely it makes sense to uh, make the components of the tension uh, vertical because circle is moving over, it's moving over here. So the force towards the center of the circle is required because that will provide the necessary centripetal acceleration. So this will become T cosine of alpha and this will become T sine of alpha and this is mg so this is the required fpt and we know that it's not moving vertically so t cosine of alpha should be equal to mg and t sine of alpha should be equal to mb square over r um, all right but at the moment uh, 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 let's see what is given and what do we need to find we need to find the value of the tension uh, okay are we given the velocity no we are not so what we can do from uh, this equation is we definitely know the radius, we definitely know the angle, uh, and we definitely know the mass of the bead as well. So from this, I think from just from the first equation, we can get the value of the tension, right? That because T times cosine of 15 degree is going to be mg, where m is 18 grams, so 18 over 1000 grams, times the value of g, which is 9.8 meter per second square so the value of tension from here comes out as 18 times 9.8 uh, over 1000 over cos of 15 degrees so the value of tension comes out as 0 0.18 newton up to two decimal uh, places so this is the required answer for the tension just from this equation in which the vertical forces are equated there's no need of the radius as well. Thank you.